स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय हार्ट यूके द कोलेस्ट्रॉल चैरिटी वेलकम बैक टू द वेलनेस शो जी हाँ बात हो रही है फेमिलियल हाइपर कोलेस्ट्रोलिमिया जी हाँ ये बात ये लफ्स मुश्किल है लेकिन हम अपना पूछते हैं दोबारा से हम रेवी से बात करते हैं जी टेल अस अबाउट एफ एच आई वे ओके यासमिन फेमिलियल हाइपर कोलेस्ट्रोलिमिया लुक्स एट रियली लॉन्ग वर्ड इट्स सिंपल फेमिलियल मीन्स यू इनहेरिट फ्रॉम योर पेरेंट्स हाइपर मीन्स हाई cholesterolemia is high cholesterol that's all it is it's inherited from your parents and you're inheriting high cholesterol mm -hmm. so the, the i mean what does it mean you know when you say that it is uh, is uh, is it very common uh, this problem or do you think that it's not as uh, much uh, in in our community see you said 70% of us high have high cholesterol most of us have high cholesterol because we don't follow a good diet we don't exercise we put on weight and so on this group of people get a gene that is defective and this gives them high cholesterol from the time they're born so okay. uh, what happens is the cholesterol that is high in their blood actually puts a risk to uh, lay cholesterol in their arteries and mm -hmm. therefore they get heart disease from the time uh, they are uh, in their 30s or 40s acha i did tell you about the genes mm -hmm. you can inherit one gene from one parent sometimes people inherit two genes one from the father one from the mother then when you inherit two genes mm -hmm. your cholesterol can be as high as 20 millimoles per liter and these people get heart disease in their 20s oh gosh okay Okay, so what is the normal? Uh, when I would say normal, uh, how much? How what's the level of cholesterol which is acceptable as normal? Okay, we can say that cholesterol anything above five is abnormal. However, in a patient who has had a heart attack, even a cholesterol of five can be high. Mm -hmm. So you need to keep the cholesterol quite low, and we prefer the cholesterol to be less than four millimoles. If you've had a heart attack, if you had a stroke, if you had a mini stroke, mm -hmm. or if you had diseases of the arteries in your leg. So uh, I if you look at the total cholesterol, it's four, and there is something called as the LDL cholesterol. LDL cholesterol, if you want to. talk about the scientific word is low density lipoprotein so if i'm sitting with a patient i call it lousy cholesterol that's what gets laid down in the arteries to give a heart attack or stroke or blocks your arteries mm -hmm. that low a uh, low density lipoprotein should be less than 2 millimoles per liter so often the doctors give you something called statin a drug which lowers the cholesterol mm -hmm. so it's well explained yeah but we need to know the causes as um, you say genetic cause but is there any other cause other than genetic so there you you can acquire it by eating the wrong food high fat food mm -hmm. but let's concentrate on the familial hypercholesterolemia yeah. it's important <coughs> for us to uh, uh, pick up this very early so that we can prevent <coughs> disease in so young wonderful. people yeah. and therefore uh, you know what we want to talk about is more about the familial hypercholesterolemia mm -hmm. so people with familial hypercholesterolemia have a cholesterol about 7.5 millimoles per liter mm -hmm. yeah and if they look at the lousy cholesterol which i called as the ldl cholesterol it's often 4.9 millimoles or higher so if your lousy cholesterol is 5 yeah. or 6 please go to a gp and say do i have a familial condition should my children be tested because if you have a genetic condition your children or your brothers or sisters are likely to have this condition too yeah. and you don't want to discover this condition after you've had a heart attack so mm -hmm. what you want to do is to go to your gp and say can i be tested for familial hypercholesterolemia should i be on treatment for uh, high cholesterol levels um, yeah okay. can i can uh, i chat yeah i think there is one caller waiting for us uh, hello hello assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam hello we can yes, hear you can you hear us yasmin qureshi se baat ho sakti 
जी हाँ आप बात कर सकते हैं लेकिन अपने वॉल्यूम जरा टीवी का थोड़ा हल्का करिए क्योंकि यहाँ पे एक आ रही है हेलो जी आप बात कर सकते हैं मैं मैनचेस्टर से महमूद कुरैशी बात कर रहा जी मेरे पास डायबिटीज की मेडिसिन हैं जी वो मैंने जो रिकवर की है ये इससे बहुत से लोगों का फायदा होगा मैंने यहाँ पर चंद एक लोगों को दी है अभी इस वक्त हम जो है कुरैशी साहब हम इस वक्त बात कर रहे हैं जो है वो कोलेस्ट्रॉल की तो आप ये किसी दिन हम जब डायबिटीज की बात करें आप जरूर बात कीजिएगा लेकिन फिलहाल जो है हम बात कर रहे हैं कोलेस्ट्रॉल हाई कोलेस्ट्रॉल की तो आप किसी दिन जरूर हमें फोन कीजिएगा थैंक यू तो या आई थिंक सो विल कॉल इट एफ एच एज यू सेट के थोड़ा सा वुड बी अ ब्रीफ देन डिस्क्रिप्शन जितनी जल्दी इसको डायग्नोज किया जाए उतनी आपके लिए बहुत फायदा मंद है क्योंकि एज सुन एज वी डोंट वॉन्ट एक्सपोजर टू क्लस्टर फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम हाई क्लस्टर इसलिए अगर आपको शक है कि आपको या आपकी कोई फैमिली मेम्बर को ये जेनेटिक कंडीशन हो सकती है तो जरूर चेक कीजिए लेकिन मिलियन डॉलर क्वेश्चन ये है कि ये शक कैसे हाउ वुड वी नो दैट यस मे बी वी आर द विक्टिम ऑफ दिस हाइपर आई मीन एफ एच एंड वी शुड गो टू द डॉक्टर दैट्स द क्वेश्चन the cholesterol by itself doesn't give you any symptoms so one of the first things which you need to look at in your family is anybody your grandfather great grandfather has died in their uh, 30s or 40s or had a heart attack in their 30s or 40s if you know that they've had a heart attack go and ask your family members anybody has a high cholesterol in their 8s or 9s or so if you get that history That's that true. is the time you go and have a mm -hmm. cholesterol check but if a relative of yours comes and tells you your cholesterol is my cholesterol was 7 or 8 don't ignore that you may also have That's that true. high cholesterol so what you need to do is to inform your gp that one of my relative has a very high cholesterol which is called as a familial form mm -hmm. can i have it checked yeah i think uh, can i bring sandhya in now okay. i mean sandhya how did you find out that yeah i mean this is a problem uh, the inherited problem you have in your family uh, actually i'll be very honest it was a, more like an accident because i uh, we applied for a life insurance um, policy and uh, they wanted a blood test uh, from me so obviously i had it checked and uh, that's how i found out so yeah. it was all an all an accident more more like my f my dad did have um an operation in the past but that never occurred to me to to go and have it checked myself uh, so how old was your father when he had that uh trip? my father was in his Fish. 50s so he still is quite young i don't know whether this new yeah. thing that um, that does indicate that there is some problem with the inheritance mm. exactly exactly when uh, men have heart disease less than 60 and uh, uh, women have heart disease less than 65 that's serious okay so that we we should get this checked up. i think ye jo bahut badi baat aapne batayi hai jo devi ne wo yahi ke agar aapki family mein kisi ko choti umar mein 30s mein 40s mein ya even 50s mein agar uh, kisi ko heart attack hua hai to definitely aapki puri family do you think that the whole family including the kids they should be checked up uh, yes uh, we do call that as cascade testing it looks Uh, you know to be cascade testing what it means is all the family members get tested so at least in uk and in some other countries there are guidelines for treating people with familial hypercholesterolemia so when you go to uh, the doctor say there's a specialist or the gp if you're diagnosed with familial hypercholesterolemia the doctor should actually offer testing of the all the relatives including the children and we advise that the children are tested before the age of 10 because after the age of 10 when they're growing up there are some changes in the cholesterol which can confuse people so we advise if there are children in an affected family they're tested before the age of 10 before the age of 10 as well as after the age of 10 of course you know the i mean children. they are teenagers yeah, yeah. then then the children they needed to be tested yeah up. yeah tested out so um one thing yeah, um, when you just find out about the youngsters or young children um they also have inherited and they have high cholesterol do you also put them uh, on to the treatments such as statin 
there are uh, okay, some studies which have been done in children showing safety and if children are started on statin at an early age there are uh, there is some evidence already coming up saying that the uh, heart disease is much lower in those children who have been started on statin. But there is a little bit of reluctance from the parents so as well as from the doctors to start children on statin, especially if the uh, parents have had heart disease in their 30s or 40s. We advise that the cholesterol treatment should be started from the age of 8 years. Okay, so we have another caller with us. Hello and welcome to this show. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, May I call you from Paris? My 58 years age. Yes. 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 So, how do we say that the cholesterol is less and normal? Okay, so we talk about this and see what Devi tells us. You said that it is 300 ml, but it should be the doctor in Paris, he is talking from Paris. So, he said that it should be 200. So, what do you say? So, 300 milligrams is too high. It indicates that the person who has a cholesterol of 300 milligrams may have a familial cause. Uh, but there are other causes like diabetes can sometimes increase your cholesterol, uh, thyroid problems can increase the cholesterol. But if you have 300 milligrams cholesterol in the blood, that needs to be looked at and it's better that you consult with your doctor to get it tested. Or where you know, you say that there is no home remedy or um, food, ka. so I think here comes your expertise. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can uh, include a lot of things in your diet. Ke, ke, jo viewers is that everyone thinks that we are not eating, we don't eat ghee, we don't eat butter, so we are okay. But in our food, there are so many hidden fats, biscuits, chevra, cakes, such things that we rely on fast food, we get a lot of saturated fat. Pizza. Pizza, dairy foods, full fat dairy foods. But the thing is that you need to stop these things here. चीज ये है कि आप कौन सी चीजें खानी चाहिए। तो जैसे कि nuts, soya products, हमारी जो घरों में दाल बनती है, छोले, राजमा, all these vegetables, fruits, but जिसको हम बोलते हैं ना cholesterol busting foods, these are the the nuts, the soya, the oats. Oats, हाँ। So, but for more details about the cholesterol lowering जो plan बोलते हैं, आप Heart UK की वेबसाइट पर जाएं। you can download all kinds of information. कौन सी चीजें खानी चाहिए, कौन सी नहीं हमारी एशियन डाइट्स के लिए कौन सा खाना हमारे लिए अच्छा है, कौन सा नहीं. Just log on to the Heart UK website या हमारी हेल्पलाइन के फोन करके मेरे से बात कर सकते हैं या मेरी कॉलिक से बात कर सकते हैं as for your individual needs. और संध्या, because I'm just we we're going to give you more time in this next segment. I just wanted to know, you know, when once you 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 so were you put on statin or what was the treatment given to you? Yes, I was put on statin. And and other members of your family too? Oh yes, I I had my son and my daughters, both of them checked, and I also told my sisters to have their cholesterols and their families, the children's cholesterol checked as well. Yeah. Okay, so what was the percentage of people or the family members who actually had this uh, uh, issue? I can't tell you what percentage, but um, some of them were a bit reluctant. Uh, but definitely my brother's children had theirs, their cholesterol checked. Yeah, yeah I think there is this, uh, you know, reluctance uh, to actually go to the doctor and find out the worst, you know. I mean, this is something, even when I just want to go, I say, no, no, abhi nahi jana, because maybe <laughs> cholesterol bada ho gaya, to kya karungi, you know. I think this is a reluctance of uh, many people. Yeah, you know, but I think what, what's really important is that if you, if there is family history, that what you have to remember is the sooner it's picked up, the better management and you, you can avoid a lot of serious consequences in the mm -hmm. sense the earlier it's picked up, the better. Yes. So that should give you an incentive. Get up the rule. डॉक्टर के पास चेक कीजिए, especially with the children। हाँ, तो हिम्मत करें और जरूर जाइए और अपने जो कोलेस्ट्रॉल जो है, वैसे भी जगह-जगह आजकल तो कोलेस्ट्रॉल जो है वो चेक हो रहा है, बहुत सी फार्मेसीज में होता है, तो प्लीज आप ये जरूर ये नोट कीजिए और यहाँ पर हम छोटा सा ब्रेक लेते हैं, time flies by, तो अब ये छोटा The 
वेलनेस शो स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय हार्ट यूके द कोलेस्ट्रॉल चैरिटी